no gunshots, but they get in low, low. Hey, what's up guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video on Parker's Prairie. Back right where we left off yesterday. Uh, so, we're just going to continue going here. Not exactly sure what to talk about in this video. It's the only bad thing about when you get try and get uh, multiple videos done in a day. You sit and talk for a half hour in one, and then you don't know what to say for the next half hour in another. Uh, but I guess that's just how it is. Let's do some in cab driving here. I could have swore those levers actually moved. Maybe they do. Let's say here once. Nope. I thought it did, I guess, but evidently not. Oh well. Emily dropped some frames now having uh, video exporting, but I guess it is what it is. So I think maybe what we'll do is we'll finish this field and then we'll get up Google Sheets. Well, no, maybe not. That'd be kind of boring. Uh, I guess we'll just keep planting. Was thinking of. Just finishing this field and then uh, getting all of the field info put up in a Google Sheets document, but eh, it'd get kind of boring to watch there. So I'm not going to do that. Oh, is the other one doing for C? 84%. How come that doesn't seem right? That one should not. Oh, because that's showing fertilizer. So it does not want to show... Whoops, wrong direction. Ah, oh, come on. It does not want to show how much seed is actually left in it. It's only showing uh, fertilizer. So it's showing 75% 75, 75 fertilizer, or wheat at 75%, but that's how much fertilizer we have. And the other one has 84%. So, yeah. Funny how that works, huh? Field 2 is 21.32 hectares. So about 4. 32.22. And the only one, the one that I have is 41. 55.47. Good size field. I should get a little thing down in the bottom once uh, once that other guy does run out of seed. I guess I didn't even pay attention. What was it at? 18%. So it's still got enough seed to go a little while. But it should, once it empties out, it should uh, just stop and then wait to be filled except I, you can't fill it 
while it's still on course play. You have to hit stop driver on course play. Otherwise, you're going to have issues. I have learned that the hard way before. And it is not fun. As soon as you start dumping seed in there, that guy's going to fold up and take off. Or unfold, whatever it's going to do. In this case, it would fold up the air cart in the back. And we just take off and start planting right away. Which would not be good. So, we have boot print on our gas pedal. A couple on the floor here. Kind of neat. Kind of wish you could mess around with DLC packs in like Giants Editor and stuff. Definitely be nice in a way, because then you know, like you could adjust the camera or whatever. But I'm sure probably a good reason that you can't, other than the fact that they don't want you to mess with their stuff, but. Probably because, like, if you messed with it, then put it on, like, a server. Everybody would have to have ex your exact download or something like that. Which would make complete and total sense. That's how it would be with any other mod, but... I a little bit too sharp there. But it would definitely be nice... Because then somebody could, you know, make this camera actually work and whatnot. Drive shaft is really turning slow. We're not too far off from being done with this field here, and then we can finish off that little bit on field two, and then move on over down to that field. Uh, was it 13? Yeah, 13. So we just have this little bit left, field two, fields 13 and 14, and then we'll be done planting wheat. Uh, of course, play will still be planting wheat probably, but. Then we can move on to, so let's see, let's do this one, so let's see here, so we got wheat, we got barley, canola, so this can do soybeans, but the DB I'm pretty sure can do soybeans and I'd much rather do them with that, uh, we'll see radish grass, so then this can do the rye and the sorghum, so we will move to field, probably field, nah, we'll probably do field 5 and we'll let course play handle field 10. That's going to take him forever, but we'll let course play do that field. But we'll probably move on to the rye then afterwards. Uh, do the rye and then do the, why did I write canola down? Oh, because I'm not looking at the right sheet. Duh. Um, okay. Let's see. Okay, wait. Oats are going to be... 11.28. Okay, so we'll move on up here. What's going to go in field 10? Sunflowers. Okay. Yeah. That's de still going to be course play doing field 10. Um, so, yeah. We'll probably do the... We'll move on to the rye up in here, uh, 11, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and then after that, we'll move on to the Milo, and then we'll get the DB planners running, uh, in this area doing, what, sunflowers, and then we'll fast forward a little bit, get our ground temperature up, and then plant this section there, so... We got a lot of planting ahead of us, but it'll be worth it. Well, 
I don't know if it'll be worth it or not, but we do have a lot of planting ahead of us. But we'll get it done in due time. In due time. We will at some point have to hook up our uh, fuel trailer as well to our pickup and fill it up, pull it out. Because these beasts are drinking 115 liters of fuel an hour. So... I mean, it'll be a couple days. We may not even need fuel at all during this entire planting. But... I'd rather fill it up before it's almost empty being as this is 3,000 liters of fuel because that's a lot of fuel and uh, that would take a long time um, my dad texted me here I gotta give him a ride today so He had uh, new tires put on his pickup, so I uh, met him yesterday, and he dropped it off, and I gave him a ride home. Now I'll have to take him from the house down to get it. <laughs> so then, uh, I'm going to have to do that here in a little bit. He's just getting off work, so... Time that I finish this video, I'll have to probably get ready to head out. Uh, maybe, what are we at for time here? 11 minutes? Well, we might be able to finish this field. If we don't, we're going to be pretty close, but we should. There's only. Eh, a couple more passes. Two. Two, maybe three at the most. Uh oh. I just thought of something. I wonder if this guy is actually going to stop. Well, it should. Yeah, I would think so. I just had a thought that I wonder if this guy isn't just going to keep driving because he has fertilizer. Hmm. <laughs> We're going to have to watch this guy. Well, he's still got 7%. So, I mean, he's going to go for a little while yet. I just wish this would show seed instead of fertilizer. That would make life so much easier. But we're just going to have to keep an eye on it. Um, yeah, because... But, I, yeah, it should stop when it runs out of seed. In fact, let me think here. I did... I have used these before on County Line. I was doing a save game where I was running like a giant operation. Uh, basically farming the whole map. Basically about the operation we're running just a little bit bigger. Because uh, I had like more, I had twice as many combines as we have. I had like three or four times as many combine, or uh, hopper bottoms and semis. Uh, yeah, it was just crazy. Uh, and of course I'm using grain bins on there so all the trucking will have to be done well I can do it with course play uh, I'm just gonna be pretty busy between watching the combines and the grain carts and the trucks and unloading the trucks as well because uh, the way that you can do it is you can set it up you know like you normally would uh, set up a semi to run on course play uh, from the field to the farm and all you gotta do is uh, um, mind fart here brain fart I should say uh, you just gotta put a waypoint at where you want it to stop 
and then once it hits that waypoint, it'll the truck will stop and wait. So all you gotta do is, you know, take it off course play, drive it over, unload it, put it back to the course just beyond the waypoint, hit start, and it'll drive all the way back. So, I mean, it it is kind of a hassle, especially if you know, because we all know if you use anyone that uses course play knows that course play is very stupid at times to say the you know to put it in the nicest way possible course play is very very dumb at a lot of times especially when you're running articulated tractors and you know we just saw that in the other video in yesterday's video here you know it is very very dumb at points in time so um, you know it it's you gotta always watch it pretty much so uh, and I'm kind of wondering I may have to cut this video just a little bit short as well because uh, he's gonna be leaving work in a few minutes I will take him a little bit to get over to town here uh, to get home but Okay, so he's on 2%. Let's just ride along with this one here and just make sure he's going to stop. Although, he's going to take a while. So let's go ahead and just get the truck. That's what we can do. Let's get the truck and get it driven over there. Because it is a little bit of a trek to get over there from this field. You got to drive all the way through the yard. I don't know why I have so much camera shake. Probably because I have some lower frames right now with uh, video and coding. And of course the farmyard it always drops frames when there's a lots and lots of equipment. That's kind of... You can't really avoid that. Holy smokes. This is awful though. I need to be able to see where I'm going for at least partially see where I'm going. Okay. We're good now. All of our land all's lined up in there. Waiting for fall or spring. Depends on uh, how close to winter it is when we finish harvest. About the time that we get over that tractor, it should be empty then. I would think that once we fill it up, it should show for the seed then. But it's hard to say with course play. I mean, I love course play, but sometimes it can be more of a headache than a help. Okay, I was going to drive down to the field, actual field entrance, but I'm not going to. Not exactly sure where it's going to stop when it does. So, let's just run over to it here. Well, it is a little ways down the field yet, but So he's almost empty. So it should hopefully stop. Yep. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't, 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 don't fold. Don't, or fold. Just stay right where you're at. Okay, so we need our C tank, which is V. Grab our truck. Of course, it turned off again. Figure. That is the nice thing about using grain trucks is you don't have to worry about folding this thing. If I was using like a semi and a hopper trailer, I would have to fold it, but. I don't. Because it's just a truck. Yeah, 
Okay, let's get all this stuff off first. Come on. There we go. I'm trying to get it so it's actually dumping in there versus. So we'll go just a little bit longer. Should be just about full now. There we go. So this guy is going to need refilling as well. Yeah, definitely. But, well, maybe we'll, uh, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll get this guy going again. And we'll take the, sem or the grain truck back to the farm. finish first what we'll do is we'll get this guy on his way again and then we'll take this truck back to the farm and get it refilling and then I am gonna have to cut the video uh, a little bit short it won't be too bad though by the time we get all this stuff done we'll honk at our driver here Let's see, did it show? No, of course it did not. It's still showing for fertilizer, so. Oh well. But it does stop. The only thing is it, uh, you know, it folds itself up. Which that kind of, that kind of stinks, but. It is definitely a trek to get back to the farm. I think at some point I may have to end up recording a course for this truck to go from one area back to the farm. So that way after I do refill, because I, I think I can only fill one planter at a time with a full truck. I don't think I can fill both. I don't think this thing has quite enough capacity in it to do both planters at once, so... So I'll show you guys here what I was talking about uh, yesterday about the Quonset. Uh, you know, you can see it's got the straw right there, and then inside there is the trigger to sell bales. So I will uh, delete that trigger or move it or something. I don't know. Probably just delete it because I don't plan to sell bales at all. But um, delete it. And then get rid of that straw that's in there. And then... Um, then we can use that, you know, we can use one to stack all of our hay bales in, and one to stack all of our straw bales in. So, that will be nice. And with the square bales, we will have quite a few bales. Uh, I may even end up having to place a couple of buildings uh, to store them in. Uh, even if they do sit outside, uh, I did test that when I tested out the other thing uh, with the bales. Uh, you can leave it outside and it won't disappear, but I mean, they do lose their quality. Uh, they aren't as good and they actually lose you actually lose hay um, you know your fill level goes down 
but uh, so I think we'll have to wait until tomorrow to finish this field because I am gonna have to get going here uh, just a couple of minutes short than shorter than normal so not nothing too bad um, but uh, yeah guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel be sure to subscribe if you like what you see be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video make sure you check out down below in the description I got my PC specs down there uh, the schedule to which I upload videos uh, I got the link to the creators Facebook page of this map you can go check him out and make sure you got the latest version of the map and also see some other cool screenshots of uh, the map that he made uh, any screenshots he posts and any of that kind of stuff. I also got links to my social medias down there, as well as some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. So thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.